here is a condensed summary of the treatments that can mitigate the impact on aging of follicular genesis and potentially improve outcomes in aging women. Number one is vitamin D. It's linked to better reproductive potential and outcomes maintaining adequate levels and this may support fertility. Second is coenzyme Q10. It enhances mitochondrial function in aging oocytes, so that literally improves the batteries, improves their quality, and may improve fertility outcomes. DHEA, in fact, slows apoptosis in cumulus cells and enhances environment, ovarian environment. Embryonic aneuploidy may have be decreased and mitochondrial dynamics. Testosterone seems to boost receptor activity, follicular recruitment and growth, and in some studies has been shown to have a positive impact on fertility. Letrozole, an aromatase inhibitor that increases testosterone levels, shown to improve oocyte retrieval and implantation rates in IVF. What do these do? They improve the treatments, uh, they target biological pathways in ovarian aging and follicular genesis, their aim is to improve ovarian environment, oocyte quality, and enhance fertility in aging women. What is the problem here? Research is limited and much further evidence is required. So when you have a look at it, you see that in some cases these are beneficial. In some cases, we just don't have adequate evidence to suggest to use it. But this is what Fertility Sterility came up with as an article on modifiers of ovarian function and follicular genesis.